So this is Howard University's uh, like student journalists um, at HU Spotlight News. A group of student protesters have organized a sit-in in Blackburn Center, demanding an in-person meeting with administration to address Howard's housing crisis, the removal of student faculty and alumni representation on the board of trustees. And so they're using the hashtag um, Blackburn takeover uh, hashtag, <laughs> to, to say that word twice, as well as the hashtag Howard University. So you can find a lot more kind of information there and, and videos there. But again, we've had some folks be very kind in allowing us to, to share what's going on from, from their footage. So next let's show um, the WUSA 9 piece to give some more context as well for people so they know what's so happening. So this is a local news station. Um, Howard University students stage sit-in over board representation and housing issues. So there was a similar sit-in at Howard University that lasted nine days in 2018. And there are alumni um, who are sharing that, that they had protests for some of these same issues when they were attending. Um, students at Howard University are staging a sit-in at the Blackburn University Center. Student demonstrators are demanding representation on the university's board of trustees and want something to be done to address housing conditions in student dorms. University students began staging the sit-in protest late Tuesday. The founder of the Live Movement, one of the organizing groups, said the Howard University Student Association held a forum Tuesday hoping to connect the administration with students so that they could address concerns. But she said none of those leaders showed up, frustrating students. In one video shared with WUSA 9, the founder of the Live Movement, um, it might be the Live Movement, I'm not, I'm not sure, unfortunately, and senior at Howard, um, Anaya Vines, can be seen standing on a roof addressing other people below. We're not here just to go to class, Vines said. We are here to be leaders. We are here to be advocates. We are here to be change makers. Again, these are the demands. In-person town hall with President Frederick and the administration scheduled before the end of October. Reinstate all affiliate trustee positions, students, faculty, and alumni on the board of trustees with voting power. The president and chairman of the board propose a meeting with student leadership outlining their housing plan to protect the incoming classes of Howard's immediate future. This is really just making sure that we are united. We're united as Bison, but also as HBCU students. The organizer told WUSA 9 over a Zoom call. Now, um, one of the things is that they're not allowing police or campus police are not allowing any, any reporters or anybody in now. So if you're not already in, you can't get in. So reporters are having to interview people via Zoom and, and other methods. One of the reasons students are reportedly staging the sit-in is because of living conditions in student housing. Students have been facing a lot of issues on campus, everything from housing to tuition increases to safety issues on campus, and we feel as though the administration is not listening to us. Senior Erica England with the HU Young Democratic Socialists of America said, last month a video showing conditions inside uh, one of Howard University's dorm rooms went viral on Twitter. In the video, you can see what looks like a puddle of water in what they say is the kitchen of the dorm room. And a Howard University sophomore pub uh, published that video. Um, forgive me if I mispronounce, but uh, Tandaway Abdullah posted the video. Um, and then it goes on to talk about um, student representation having been removed uh, as part of negotiations, as, as part of um, the board. So a few months ago, board chair, Dr. Lawrence Morse said they would be phasing out the affiliate trustee position. So this has made students, you know, rightfully so in my opinion, up, very upset because 
they're removing the right for these um, alumni, for, for those you know, actual students to be on the board and address concerns and, and kind of bring those concerns to the table. Um, and we have some, some folks who have been kind enough to let us show some of this footage. Um, Colin, I'm not sure exactly how you uh, organized it, but if you can pop up some of that Howard University um, protest footage so, so people can get a glimpse here. Actually, pause it real quick, Colin. Um, so I just want to note, I had Colin blur the videos so that we don't show faces. And I'll tell you why after we watch this. But it is purposeful that this is blurry, just so you guys know. our team write out what our doing uh, what our demands and what our rights are so that you guys can know and be clear that we are well within our rights as bison as Howard University students to be occupying this space they're trying to make it seem like we're the bad guys we're doing exactly what we're supposed to be doing as bison which is standing up and fighting for all bison out here Wow, just incredible, incredible action there that was organized so quickly. Again, no one showed up to speak with these students, um, to hear their demands. And so this is the result, the action, the occupation of, of that building. And they say that they are not leaving until their demands are met, until they, they get some response 